Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making this super adorable Dutch fold card. I wanted to try a fancy fold card, and I think you're really going to like this one. So let's get started. This card is going to be six inches by four inches, or four inches by six inches. And what you're going to need are two pieces of paper. You're going to need one that's 10 inches by three and seven eighths. And I'll make sure I list everything below in the description box. You're also going to need another piece of paper or cardstock, I should say, that's eight inches by two inches. You're going to be so surprised at how easy this is. Okay, so I got my scoreboard out. And what you want to do is, let's take the larger piece first. You're going to score this at four inches. So right here, four inches. I'm going to use my scoring tool here. Okay, four inches. Now you're going to take the smaller piece and you're going to score this at two inches and let me make sure two inches and six inches. I want to make sure I got my measurements right. <laughs> Okay, and you could also measure it out with a ruler, two inches, and then the six inches, and then with this one, you just take your ruler, line it up, and just make your markings, and then fold, because you're going to end up folding it anyway. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this away. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and fold it there. So we're starting to form our card already. Fold it here and here. So this is what you should have now. I just want my creases to be really good on these. So this is what it should look like. Super simple. Now we're going to get ready to put the card together. You're going to take this piece and you're just going to lay it in between here lining up the edges, the bottom edge there. Just like that. So that's going to need to be glued together because this is what's going to form your card. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my art glitter glue to, to glue these together. And the reason why I'm using the liquid glue because it's going to allow me to kind of shift it into place and make sure everything lines up. So now I'm going to take this one, just put it right, right there, just like that. Okay, so that's how you get your card base to form. So when you're doing this, it stands up like that. Look at that. Now we can start to decorate it. Okay, so now what I have is some papers, pretty papers, to decorate my card. So I can decorate the flap here, which is four by four. I can decorate these two flaps here, or you can stamp on them, whatever you decide to do. You have so much flexibility with this card. These little flaps right here are two by two inches. So they're two by two square. So I have my little pieces for that too. I have my other piece for this. Now what I want is I do want a little bit of a frame around this. Like I want a little bit of that white edge to be showing. So I'm gonna just cut it down, just eyeballing it and cut it down just a tiny bit. And then I also wanted to have something for the back here just to cover it up, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this on for right now in the back. And if you go on Pinterest, they have all kinds of the Dutch Fold cards, just so beautifully decorated. 
um, if you just want to get some inspiration from there to see all the different different layouts for these different layouts and different measurements so I thought this was one of the easiest ones that I can just teach you in a simplified way so hopefully you're already inspired and of course you hear my dog under there <laughs> Cinnamon is in the house right now. Okay, so I want this to be a little bit smaller than my 4x4 four four here. And I want these to be a little bit smaller too because I want the outline. If you want to cover the whole thing up, you can. But I'm just going to cut it just a tiny bit. Just eyeballing it. So just a tiny bit shy of the two inches and then I'm going to put this one on here and it's going to leave a tiny bit of a frame around there like a white frame this is such a fun card to make and of course the possibilities are endless I'm just going to shift that over just a little bit to make sure I'm all lined up. And that's what I like about the wet glue. It allows you to kind of shift things into place. If I was to use like the Ad Tech Crafters tape, it's, it's unforgiving in that it's hard to like shift once you place it on the paper. So this paper is super pretty. Um, and it comes from, I'll show you the paper pack in a moment. Okay, this one is perfect. This paper pack comes from uh, Bow Bunny. It's so cute, look at that. And let's see, the name of it is Sweet Moments Collection. And this is one of the papers I picked up at Tuesday morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. I'm going to cut this down just a smidgen here. See, I'm just eyeballing it. But if you want to measure it, you can. That's, that's going to be perfect, just like that. A little bit more off the edge there. Okay, and let's go ahead and glue this one down. There's so much you can do. Wait till you go on Pinterest and you see all of the ideas for the Dutch fold card. Once you have the measurements in place, everything else is good to go. So look how cute that looks already. Look at that with the flap. Look at that. So cute. Okay, so now I figured I would use um, the scallop, my scallop punch, and it's my two inch scallop punch that I'm going to be using. So I already punched this out and I'm going to put, it's a spring card. So I'm going to use one of the sentiments from my stamp set. And I'm going to stamp out Happy Spring. And this is going to go right in the middle. Look how pretty that is. And this is from the Spring Blossom stamp set. Look how cute that's going to be. But before I do that, let's see. I want a little bit of dots. This looks almost like a almost like a brown color in there. I'm not sure. But I'm going to see if I can use just a little bit of the brown and just go right around here just to add something else and 
And of course, this is going to be, I'm going to add some dimension, so I'm going to pop that up on, on here. But I still need something else. Let's see what else I can do. Just a little bit of the green to outline it, just a little bit. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go like this. just around that dot. So if you ever want to add color to something, you can just kind of go right around the edge if it looks too plain, or you can leave it the way it is. It's up to you. Okay, and I'm going to get a little bit of pink here and just go right in these circles here with a little bit of pink. Anywhere there's a space here. Just a little something you can do. Let's see. I think I'm going to leave it like that. Just add a tiny bit of pink around the edge. Just tying in all my colors. And you can do whatever you want with this. This is just showing you a little bit of what you can do. You just have to be careful how you outline this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put this on here. Now I'm going to pop this up, give it some dimension. And let's see if I have my pokey tool here so I don't ruin my already messed up nails. <laughs> Go ahead and pop this down here. So happy spring, just like that. Now, if I want, I could put it over here. I mean, you could do so much, but I'm going to put it right in the center there, just like that. Look how pretty that is. And guess what you can do? You can also put something right on the inside here. Just to put a sentiment. Now I can add my flower right here. Look how pretty that is. And look how beautifully it's coming together. Very unique card. And these are the flowers, dimensional flowers that I've been making, a ton of them, because they're so much fun to make. I will leave the video for that, for how you make these flowers. I just want that to just overlap just a little bit. Look how cute that looks. Look how adorable that is. Okay, let's see what else we have here. So cute. And now I think I can actually, let's see, I think this has, look how pretty this paper is. So just so that y'all can kind of see this. Look how pretty that is. All of these papers. Looking for some stripes to add to this. Let's see. Add some stripes in here. You can add some ribbon. 
It's just up to you. But look how pretty this paper is. Wow. Kind of liking that. These stripes are pretty too. But look at this right here. Let's see. We can do a we can get a little ribbon effect on here. All right? Why are we saving all this paper? Just take this and just cut right along here. Cut a little slender piece there. And I can add it right along there. Or I can take one piece, cut it off here, take another piece, cut it off right there. See all of this stuff you can do with it. Yeah, I'm going to go right across there. Yep. And then you can kind of see what else you want to add in. Of course, my art glitter glue is clogged up because I forgot to put my pen in. Don't do that, y'all. As many times as I, as I make cards, I always forget. I still forget. Okay. Just straight across, and if you want to use some real ribbon, you can. And I'm going to just start right there, go right across here, and cut it right there. Look how cute that is. Okay, now I can add some of my stickles, stardust. See what I want to do with this. Hmm. I'm going to write my sentiment. I'm thinking about stamping a sentiment in there, and you can if you want. You could also add something in here. So what I'm going to do is just to add a little bit of interest in there. Just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece off and put something right across here. Now, here's another thing you can do. You can stamp something in here on this side. You can stamp right in here. There's just so much you can do. So I'm going to be making more of these cards and just trying out some new stuff. Yep, and this is, this is a great card for like mindless crafting because you just go and start decorating it with your papers, basically. Okay, so you see how I'm measuring there? Nothing fancy. <laughs> Nothing fancy. And I didn't even do the stitching. Yet. Okay. Go ahead and put some right here. Super cute. See, I'm just putting some right in there and then I'll close it up. Look how adorable that is. Okay, so now let's see if I could put something, maybe a little bit of the, look at these match perfectly. Look at this. Could that get any perfect? Once you start crafting, your colors actually find they just find themselves. <laughs> I'm not making this up. For some reason, they just go ahead and find themselves. So, put that there, put one here and over here. It's so spring-like. This is a definitely a happy, happy card. So you're just sending someone something just for the season to say hi. And I'm just, you see, I'm just using my fingers to add stuff to this. Yep. Okay, and you can add some stickles on there. Let's go ahead and just add a little bit more on here. I didn't stickle my flower here, so let's do that now. My 
let that dry for a little bit. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm, I am so in love with these stickles. Okay, that one's already stickled, so I'm just going to add a little bit of stuff around here, just a tiny bit. It's going to look so pretty when it's dry. You just don't do what I did because this is watercolor ink. So it will smear. At least the marker is watercolor. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little bit there and let it dry. And you can add more in here, it's just up to you. But look how adorable that is. Look at that. Super cute. Look how pretty that is. So you can do just about anything you want with this card. Grab your papers, pick out some pretty colors that make you happy or the person you're sending it to happy, and just go for it. Now, if you want, you can stamp something right here. Cute little sentiment right here. Or you can maybe color something in. Um, I'm thinking I might take the banner, let's see, from one of my other stamp sets. Yeah, I think that would look cute. This little banner right here. And also make something as well. To go like right across here, maybe. Something like that. So just, just all these ideas that just happen when you start crafting, right? I could do stitching right around here. So that's just another idea. So if you happen to see the, 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 um, the pictures at the end of this video and it happens to have stitching, you know I went ahead and did it. So I hope you were inspired by this card. Go ahead and get out those pretty papers. What are you saving them for? And go ahead and make yourself a card. Um, the Dutch Fold card. Go on Pinterest and see all of the different ideas. Look how cute that looks standing up. Just show y'all turn this a little bit. I know it's still wet, so that's what it looks like in the back. From the side there. Super duper cute. So I will make sure I put all of the um, measurements below in the description box. Go ahead and try something new. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.